Hello! Thank you for joining me on my video series installing and configuring IBM Domino 9 Social Edition on CentOS 6. I'll be covering both 64-bit and 32-bit. I am your host, Devin Olson, and this is Part 4A, Firewall Configuration Manual, meaning we're going to do manual firewall configuration. It's uh, generally not recommended to do it this way, but I want to show you how to do it anyway. So we're going to have a little bit of fun um, in this episode. In our previous episodes, we have installed CentOS. We have done our initial configuration. We have uh, set some security change settings. We have made sure that uh, some certain packages have been downloaded. We've set up our RPM Forge repository and we've enabled some services. In this episode, we need to um, play with our firewall so we can actually start using this, um, this server. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are back at our console. I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, so we're logged in. The very first thing I need to do in order to configure the firewall is I want to temporarily disable the firewall. And I, I'm going to do that with the check config uh, command first. Uh, IP tables is the name of your firewall in, the, in Linux, and I'm going to turn it off. So when the system boots, the firewall will no longer automatically start. And then I want to go and I want to actually turn the service off uh, in the event that it's running. Uh, so the service command, uh, the service that I want to do is IP tables. What do I want it to do? I want to stop it. So, okay, it has shut down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to enable, uh, make sure certain ports for Domino are open. Um, in this case, the ones that I, I mean, if you check in the documentation that I provided, there's a bunch of ports. I list out the most common ports. In this case, the ones I care about, I'm, I want HTTP open so our web server works. I want 1352 open, the NRPC uh, notes from a procedure call port so that I can get to it from a notes client. Okay, that's, those are kind of gimmies. I want um, my SMTP port open, you know, so mail works. That's kind of a, a good thing. I want port 22 open. That's the secure shell, uh, secure socket shell port. That's uh, so that I can access my Linux server remotely and do stuff with it. And um, I'm going to want port 8585 open. That's the port that's used by Domino uh, for remote server setup. There's a bunch of others that I can open and stuff, but for the time being, I'm just going to just gonna play with those. So the first thing I want to do is um, I'm going to make a backup of my IP tables file. Well, first off, we can, we can list it so you can see it. Um, uh, cat uh, etc sysconfig IP tables. That's my current uh, IP tables uh, file. I want to make a backup so I don't screw anything up, and that's really easy. So I, I'm going to come in here, and the command that I'm going to enter is cp for copy. It's pretty simple, and I just want to copy it to what am I going to copy to? How about etc uh, sysconfig IP tables dot VAK. There we go. And you know now I can verify that it's there by just uh, using my ls command. ls etc sysconfig IP tables star dot star go. Oops. Star dot eight. Star dot star. And there it is. There's the backup, the old, I'm good, life is good. So what I want to do is I'm going to edit this um, file, and I'm going to edit it with V. Like I said, we're doing some serious, crazy stuff. Again, this is generally not the recommended way to do it, but I want, to see, I want you to see how um, your firewall actually works and, and how, how hard or difficult or easy it is. So I have it in edit mode. Um, or V is up and, and operational. So what I want to do is I want to edit it. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to I'm going to change my input uh, forward and accepts policy. So let's go to insert. Oops, hang on, I got to 
focus, shoot star I. I'm now in insert mode, so I'm going to change input, input accept to input drop. The default policy will now be to drop. Where's my, there we go. Input drop. And same thing with forward. By default, I want to drop all, all these packets. I'm not going to bother with anything that's going outbound. So there, I, I've changed those. Um, and now I want to go find right here, uh, input M state, input J reject, and right before that, um, and there's that, uh, the forward stuff. So I'm going to enter, start entering content right here. So the first thing I want to do is minus A input minus minus, excuse me, minus M state dash dash state new minus M TCP minus P TCP D port and which port do I want to do? You'll notice right up there. So you got port 22. That's the default SSH port. That's so SSH is already accepting by default. So you see that. Um, so what do I care about? I care about HTTP, which is going to be port 80, minus J, accept. And then let's do this again. Minus A, input, minus M, state, dash, dash, state, new. So this is all new connections because existing connections are going to be accepted. You'll notice the first line input established or related. So any established connection is already automatically accepted. So this is for new connections. Minus, oops, minus M. Uh, the protocol is going to be TCP. Minus P, TCP. And the port will be, let's do uh, 1352. Minus J, accept. The Domino server connections are using Domino client. will now connect. Minus A. Input minus M state dash dash state new minus M TCP minus P uh, TCP DD port. Uh, let's do uh, 25. So mail works. That's the SMTP port. Accept minus A input. Oops, minus A input minus M state dash dash state. New, oops, new, minus M, TCP, P, TCP. Uh, I need 8585 so that I can, ooh, minus D port, 8585, minus J, accept. And I can continue to enter all of the other ports that I care about just the same way. Um, just continue to enter what I want. Um, if I wanted to only allow SSH from a specific address, I could do that. Um, I like webmin, so I'm going to add one more. Minus A, input. MPT, minus M, state, dash, dash, state, new, minus M, TCP, minus P, TCP, D port. Webmin uses 10,000 as the port. Okay, so there we go. I'm, I'm happy. Those are my, my changes. That's all that I'm going to do for now. I'm going to hit my escape key to take me out of insert mode. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, shift star, colon, WQ, enter. And I can cat this to verify that my changes are in fact in place. They are. Life is good. Now I want to turn my firewall on whenever the machine boots. So CHK. C O N F I G I P tables on. And now I want to start it right now. Service IP tables start. So now my firewall is back on. Um, yay, pretty happy. Seems to be working. So that's it for this uh, episode. Pretty quick, simple episode, just configuring a firewall manually. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Um, you can read about XPages development on my Learning XPages site. You can check my blog at devinolson.net. 
Uh, my friend David Levy runs a wonderful website called notesid9.com where you can get all kinds of cool, awesome videos on how to do cool, awesome stuff with notes. Again, I'm Devin Olson.